what is up today is Friday and I have a very special video for you guys today so I asked you guys on my insta stories if you want to see a workout routine and you guys said yes so here I am and today I'm going to a workout that I'm gonna film for you guys I am training with a trainer from Toronto he trains um, right by Liberty Village or in Liberty Village technically and his name is Jesse Humble so he reached out and we've been working together for a couple weeks now we're doing a month of workouts two days a week I'm going away though so I wanted to get this in for you guys before I go on my trip to Europe hopefully I stay fit manage to stay fit while I'm there um, but I'll let him do the introduction for what we'll train today and I'll show you guys a quick little routine that you guys can use um, and I'll list all the exercises and all the sets so you guys know exactly what I'm doing so let's go Alrighty guys, so I just finished a workout with Jesse at Reebok CrossFit in Liberty and we did some abs and some legs today which I was really happy about and I'll let him tell you sort of what we did but I'll roll the clip so you guys can see exactly how it went. I just put her through a workout involving a lot of abs, a lot of core, but mostly glutes. We really attacked the glutes, she killed it today. Check it out. So this first exercise here is for your abs. You really engage your core while balancing on your feet and having your arms on the ball. It's called stir the pot, so you just squeeze your abs and rotate your arms three times one way and then alternate three times the next. And we did about eight sets of each three times for this exercise. This next one here is called the hamstring curl. You guys have definitely seen this before. It's just important to keep your hips up at all times and you just roll your ankles forward and back really engaging your hamstrings so you feel it in your thighs. This next exercise is also for the abs and it's called ball pass. The most important thing for this exercise is to keep your back flat on the ground so your lower abdominals are super engaged and you don't hurt your lower back at all. And we pass this about 14 times total front and back, and then repeated this set three times. Next we have the glute touchbacks with a resistance band that I have just over my knees. And you start by just engaging your core and your, or my left uh, glute here, and then touching my toe back forward and back slowly, and then alternating onto my right glute and doing the same thing. And we did about eight to 10 of these on each leg three times. Our next exercise here is an abduction. So you just push out your legs and slowly resist as your legs come back in, really, really working your glutes and a bit of your hamstrings. This next exercise here is a cable kickback. You guys have definitely seen this before. And what I'm doing is engaging my glute while driving my leg up and then slowly bringing it down. And then I do this on each side for about 14 reps each, three sets total. These ones here are another alternative version of a cable kickback, but it's through the side. So just maintaining a neutral spine with my butt slightly back and pulling my right leg up and slowly releasing down and then repeating the same on the other side. This is the cable pull through, again maintaining a neutral spine for this exercise, really engages the glutes. I, this is one of my favorite exercises and it's important to make sure that your back is neutral rather than curved because it's not about looking sexy but it's about making sure that you're really engaging your butt without harming your back. This is one of my favorites as well, the resistance band hip thrusts with two resistance bands, one over my knees and one on my hips. And it's important to just drive up, squeezing the glutes and the abs. And here we did a burnout of about 18 per set, three sets total. Here we have the Romanian deadlift with a dumbbell in each hand. The most important thing here is to keep your spine neutral and then driving the weights up as close to your body as possible while really squeezing the glutes. And I think we did about 12 to 14 for each set here and a total of three sets. 
This next exercise is called the sideline clam raises, which is a Pilates exercise, really engages your obliques as well as your butt as you lift and lower your leg. And it's just important to stay super tight. And we did about 14 on each side for three sets. Then here we have a great little arm workout. So staying stable in a plank position while pulling through the weights. This exercise is great for both abs and arms really challenging your stability and we did 10 for each set then we've got our v-ups with a weight doing 12 for three sets and then our last exercise is a russian twist which we did until i burned out 